This video is going to be a demonstration of a build for a back player and sentence. Something maybe you shouldn't do against the top SF players because they'll beat you. But if they beat you anyway, you might as well do this. So this build focuses on making early uh, ASF as early as you can and getting your strat bombers. It really works if one of your allies uh, is on the same page and makes T2 bombers around the 8th minute. But that's usually too much to ask for, but if you have a friend who can do that for you, you can basically win the game. So you can see one trick you can do here if you pause a NG and have it build something it extracts these trees much faster that's a little trick uh, in this build the only time you should ever upgrade any of your mass extractors is if you have about 800 excess mass otherwise just focus on getting power factories you can see there's plants for factories out on the field to get all these trees uh, there's about 20,000 mass in all the trees that are on one side uh, of setting so 40,000 mass total that's a whole bunch of mass you shouldn't let uh, go to waste so you can see here factory attack moves directly from factory spreading these engines out so they don't fight over the trees just minor details you can see some of the mass extractors being upgraded one thing you should uh, try using for 3603 players it's obvious they have to build energy storage but energy storage could be useful for 3599 as well you have a whole bunch of excess power might as well some build some power storage see we have at uh, four minutes we have a t1 air factory see these factors always producing as much build power as possible ACU just spamming P gens not many uh, mass extractors being upgraded so now we're at minute five we're getting a t2 engineer from this t2 air factory and this uh, thing is uh, going to spam T2 uh, pigeons. And notice at this point there is really not uh, many uh, T2 mass extractors. There's only one, two. Two mass extractors out of 12. And there's already an upgrade going on on this uh, T, uh, T2 air factor going to T3. Notice a lot of NG is being concentrated here by the air factory and your p -gens. as soon as you get one t2 p -gen, you basically have a green light to go for this factory so we see here we're coming up on seven minutes you can uh, if you get uh, pretty good uh, help from allies you can beat seven minutes in terms of getting ASF but usually if you get ASF out in the seven minute range you can surprise your uh, enemy so at this point you can even go straight for a strat of course strats take a little more power but you can do it but best case scenario is one of your allies right now has t2 uh, bombers going across but that's not going to be happening in this game see building up a little bit of a t3 uh, air force see the fourth unit here is going to be a strat bomber so now let me see what happens the opponent here the asf opponent is uh, killing and uh, he probably has just realized that ASF is flying over his base. He is at this is now minute nine. He's only got T2 air factor getting on T3. So now the strat bomber is out. You can see the path for the strat bomber. See right now uh, it has been changed to attack ground, and now it's going to attack ground just a little bit ahead of this mass extractor and you'll see it'll be a direct hit on this mass extractor see another bomb dropped, so two bombs in pretty close proximity a third bomb dropped and now it's going to be fourth bomb so four bombs and four kills and now you can see the fifth bomb, so the, by the time this uh, strat bomber got from one end of sentence to the other dropped off five bombs you can try to do better if you want so killing here is a pretty experienced player he did the right thing he's building shields around his power main thing you don't want to lose if you're a back player is your power if you lose your power you're screwed another thing uh, you don't want to lose is your t3 air factor of course he already got t3 t3's got quite a bit of uh, health 
So Barry decides to just go and harass other players. It would take quite a few bombs to kill this. You see other strad bombers here, 35 kills on that one, 31 on this one. So multiple strad bombers and a few ASF flying. Very good targets. Groups of uh, NGs, of course, mass extractors. Also, wet lettuce here doing the right thing, getting shields around his power. Don't want to lose your power. And if you're the one bombing, if you can kill all the T2P gens on the other team, you're going to win a lot of time. Otherwise, it's basically mass extractors and NGs. Or a T3 air factory. If you can kill that T3 air factory, it'd be a huge loss. But you, you should only do that if you have a really big strat advantage. So you can see here the middle player, uh, Kaboomer, has lost quite a few mass extractors. Now if we look back at what Barry's got, he's still sitting on what looks like four, five uh, T2 mass extractors. So minute 12, instead of mass extractors, there are strat bombers killing the other team. Of course eventually in this game, uh, Barry's team does lose because of the superior uh, play of lettuce and killing and boomer. So better players on the other team. And you can see here David Tell does really well, wins the Navy. So hopefully this was useful and uh, you should use this just, just to have fun.